Hey, what's going on? So today we got a little project going here. Uh, I am going to attempt to replace the bearings in this fan. Uh, this is a General Electric Quiet Air. There's the grill. Uh, this is from 2001, I believe. Um, yeah, it doesn't look too easy to do this to get the fan out, but I'm going to try it anyway. Uh, I, I don't see any other way to get the fan out except to remove everything from the pan. So I... I I'm going to have to take the compressor out. It's the whole refrigeration system, all those plastic parts. Alright, we got the whole refrigeration system out. Wasn't too hard. Uh, all the screws came out except for this one. It's the ground wire for the motor. And it, it, Appears I can unscrew the, the wire from the motor, so I may just do that and just just leave that one in there. That one just totally stripped out. So I'll probably do that. I'll just not worry about that and leave it like it is. All right, we just had our first disaster. Uh, I was pulling the clip off this one. I don't know what happened, but I was only wiggling the clip off for 10, 20 seconds and the whole thing just shattered. So, I do have another squirrel wheel here, which is the same type. Alright, so here's our motor. Uh, I did manage to get the the fan blade off. Anyway, this it doesn't bolt together. It's just kind of pressed together. There's no screws. There's no no tabs on this. So I have already I gave it a couple of taps here. I think you, you just got to kind of go around it and pry it apart. Like so, it is coming apart. Oh, there we go. I don't have a proper workspace here. Try not to lose anything. So there's one bearing. It's got numbers on it. That's good. And the other bearing is up in there. Alright, I did... Uh... I did take a file and some sandpaper and smooth the rust off of this. I wasn't really thinking I should have I should have done that before before I took it apart. I could have plugged it in. It'd be a little easier to you know have the thing running. But it's all right. It doesn't matter. It's fairly smooth now. So that's it. One more little washer in there. There's a little bit of grease in there all right here's what we got here it appears that the it was the inside bearing that was making the noise and for the evaporator coil the other one feels pretty smooth I think it was just that 
evaporator coil bearing. All right, what we're going to do, I am using this thing, which is kind of a homemade bent wrench. It was bent for some sort of project. All right, <laughs> it's pounded a few times now. It's just starting to move. I guess it's just on there really tight. Yeah, it's, it's moving. This is on real tight. There it goes. Oh, there it goes. hung up again. I got this pretty smooth here. I knocked it back up a little bit more and it hit it with the file again. Yeah, I put a little a little penetrating oil on it. Let's try this again. Well, now it came right off. Look at that. <laughs> sort of. I must not have it smooth enough. You know, it's getting hung up somewhere. It's not quite off yet. There we go. Success. All right. Now the, the other one should come off a little easier. Pull this clip off. There we go. Yeah, I think it's just the uh, that rust. Even if it feels smooth, there's still you know imperfections on the shaft, and it's getting makes the bearing tough to get off. Uh, this is the uh, evaporator coil bearing. This is all nice and smooth. So hopefully this comes off a little easier. Yeah, I think the key is just to sand that down pretty good. Before you start pounding on it. This one's moving. There we go. Yeah, that was a lot easier. So yeah, this bent wrench worked pretty good. Okay, so our new bearings have arrived. Uh, they're, I got pretty cheap bearings. They're not 
not name brand ones, they're HCH, they're called. They're very inexpensive. Uh, they're less, no, they were about a dollar and some change each, including shipping, so uh, who knows? I don't know, we'll, we'll give them a shot. All right, so what I rigged up here to do this with is I just drilled a hole through a two by two piece of wood and I'm going to try to pound them on with that. Make sure we got everything clean so I should be all ready to go here. Huh? This one almost slipped on all the way. And we just have to pound it a little bit. Yeah, I don't think you want to, you don't want to pound anything directly. You don't want to pound on the bearing directly with a hammer, you know, or anything sharp like that. You want to, you don't want to deform the bearing. Here we go. That's that's on. Doesn't look damaged, but I can tell. Slipped on pretty far down, but there's still a quarter inch or so. Almost there. So that wasn't too hard. I think we're looking pretty good here. Just have to, I'm just going to wipe this off and then we're going to try to reassemble the motor. All right, okay, Come right we got back. the motor. Uh, I made a little error in the first part when I was taking this motor apart. There's only one washer in this half. I thought there was two there, but it's just one. And there's one washer in this other half. A little bit of grease. I'm just going to clean out the uh, spot down here and then I'll put some new grease on it. All right now I'm going to apply a little bit of grease. This is just regular automotive grease.
All right, I found my box of hardware. Uh, another thing I got wrong in the first part of the video. I think I said there weren't any screws holding this back together. There were. There's two very tiny screws with nuts on them that that were holding this together. That that was all there was holding it together. Just those two tiny screws. All right, we got our motor all put together. I got this. You know, the pan's not screwed together yet. I just got the stuff resting here. Uh, here's our motor. I got it just kind of hooked up temporarily. I want to turn it on just to make sure it's not noisy or anything. It actually, it sounds slightly noisy turning it by hand, so I just want to make sure there's nothing wrong with it before I screw all this back together. Alright, so yeah, I'm just going to turn this on. Let's see, hopefully nothing blows up here. I don't think anything's going to blow up. Uh, it would help if I plugged it in. Alright. I'm just going to turn it on fan. <laughs> just looking to make sure I got... Nothing's going to explode here. It's, uh, I don't know, it sounds a little noisy to me. I don't know, maybe it needs to break in or I don't know. It, I don't know, maybe it's okay. Alright. Okay, back. so I got most... most of the, uh... stuff bolted into the pan. I still have to bolt the compressor on. Everything else... I believe is attached. Let's hope so. Seems to be spitting all right. All right, I'm just going to turn this on just before I put the cover on, make sure there's nothing wrong with it. Make sure nothing's out of whack in there. Uh, let's see. Fan to the left. That sounds pretty good. I was a little worried because I thought it sounded kind of noisy before you know I put the fan blades at all on it. But I guess that's normal. Yeah, this definitely sounds good. Yeah, very, very nice. I was a little worried about that. I guess the sound I was hearing was just normal. All right, so I'm going to come back and we're going to put the cover on and give it one last start up. All right, we got the GE Quiet Air all back together. Uh, believe it or not, I cleaned all this. You know, while I had it apart, you know, while I was waiting for the bearings to come, and it's, I had it outside here and it got dirty again, so, whatever. Yeah, so this is from 2001.
So let's turn it on. I already know the fan bearings sound good. Yeah, it sounds nice. Turn the compressor on. It says low, medium, and high cool. That's a bit noisy. It'll probably quiet down once it starts running. This hasn't been run in a while. Obviously. And it took over a week for the bearings to get here. and I really didn't even run it long before I change the bearing. Hmm. Yeah, this is an LG Hero compressor. I don't remember being that noisy before. All right, I just wanted to get another shot. It's been running for five minutes or so. It's quieted down quite a bit. Quite a bit. Yeah, it's much quieter. I figured it would quiet down. It wasn't that noisy when I first started this. Yeah, so it is very quiet. As, as the name would suggest. That's low, medium, high. It's even quiet on high. The inside of this, to me, looks exactly like a uh, gold star. Except, it, it seems to be a better version of a gold star. It has thicker coils. You know, it's two rows of coils that are one in the gold star. And it's got, the gold star is a regular LG compressor, and this is a hero compressor. I, I think there's a couple other minor differences, you know, but otherwise the, in the interior is the same. Yeah, that is really quiet. It sounds beautiful. That sounds beautiful. Really quiet. Yeah, I think it's just because the compressor was sitting for so long. Air, air's nice and cold coming out of it. Alright. There you go. See you next time.